Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. So the first question is from my Leo. The question is, can a man be bisexual? And if not, what makes a man gay? But, I'm, I'm going to try to answer first. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to go first? You, you I would guess. say me so tip, just being a mental health doctor and know that I have to advocate for the LGBTQIA, I say of, yes, a man could be bisexual. But there's always going to be a male that has a preference. I've got a friend. He literally loves women, but he has a habit of just dabbling with guys. Who am I to judge him? Because he's probably fucked plenty of more bad women than me. And this is facts. But is he a top or a bottom? That's a real question. No! Nah! I'm going to keep it a band. You could fuck a billion bajillion bitches. The minute you suck a meat... <laughs> it's, it's a rap for you. Oh, yeah, it's a rap for yeah. you. And bro. for him, he ain't doing none of that. He... They suck his shit. So the he's, minute, he's the man the, in the, the minute, yeah. Okay, bro, wow. but the minute you indulge in any sexual activity with anyone of the mm. same sex, yeah, you're gay. You're it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sorry. And, and, and please don't block the page. You can just but wait, block wait, wait. Hold on. That's, I feel like that's kind of flagrant on what Tommy said. It's because you said earlier, pegging was gay. So if a man, fuck a man, mm -hmm. gay off rip. There's no, there's no conversational if and buts about it. You get gay. That's it. I mean, but there's there's a spectrum of what sexuality is, how comfortable you are. Some people feel like they can have both, and that's what they would want to do. Mm -hmm. Me, personally, it's one way, and it's the coochie way for me. Right. My nigga, go ahead. Okay. And that's, that's what I'm saying. It's one way, and it's the coochie like way. Like I said, you know, I, I feel like a nigga could fuck a hundred bad bitches, too. The minute you suck meat, or you let a nigga suck your meat, and then God forbid y'all go further than that, oh yeah, you're gay. And there is no <laughs> coming back from that shit. Yeah, it's not coming back from that shit. And if, and if you're gay, that's cool. Um, I guess if that's what make you happy, just be happy about it, man. Be proud. Like, cause I'm, I mean, I'm not judgmental. I don't, I'm not one to judge niggas for being gay, but that's just not me. Like, I had a joke, bro, but I'm gonna leave that shit alone. Cause I'm not, yeah, I'm not about to get canceled with you niggas. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's my question, bro. <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> Have a bitch ever had some some firehead and tra and trash pussy? Firehead, but trash pussy. I feel like somebody's asking me this. Yeah, um, we got this. We got this uh, text messages. Yeah. Text, uh, oh. If y'all want to send in text right now, man, the number is three eight eight ninety five. Yes. Is the number it, on the banner down there? It should be on the banner down there. If y'all see it. Yes. Yeah, I, yeah, just text that number right now, or feel free to call in for real. For real. Yeah, feel free to call in if you like. Yeah, I definitely had a woman who definitely was like, when I say head doctor, but coochie was on. Sandpaper. Yeah. Damn. And it wasn't even like that. I was like, what can I do to make you more sexually aroused? I literally did everything. Like, it wouldn't I, produce nothing but a puddle. I hate when bitches say, oh, if a bitch pussy you not wet, then obviously you're not doing something right. Ooh, or, or she don't like you or whatever the fuck. Because if I didn't ate this motherfucker, suck the titties, fingered you, let you do stuff to me, foreplay, no, no, and you still no, dry. What it was is maybe you don't turn her on. And my that's okay. My thing is, bitch, if I don't turn you on, then why did you get naked? Yeah. I'm over here. Then just say that. If you don't feel like I sexually aroused If you wasn't turned, you had to have been turned on. Because, bitch, you took your pants off. Mm -hmm. You took them dingy-ass leggings off, bitch. Yeah, so you was, had to have been turned lint balls on. She was aroused yeah, the little, enough for hey, what's up with you bitches in the lint balls on your leggings, bro? Oh I hate that shit so much. It's just like the weed to be cracky in the middle, bro. Like yeah. the whole puppy show. This shit's so disgusting, man. All right, man. So next question from... Oh, they didn't say... What do you like more, getting ate out <laughs> or eating? <laughs> Mama said you got to do one thing to stay alive, and you got to yum yum yum. I'm right. keeping it a bean with you. I like getting, my, yo, I like getting ate out nah, more. Okay? Nah, I'm not. I like, I like, I like, I like. I like doing the eating. I rather, I rather, yeah. I rather eat her out. It's fun, fun, yeah, but no, nah, I rather eat the bitch out. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like, I like. I just like. So you tell me when a bitch stick her whole tongue in your ass. A whole, like, I mean, I, I just feel like tongue. me pleasuring a woman <laughs> because most often that certain men don't do it right. And when you do it right, that satisfaction of what they do you is a good feeling. So I definitely like to do my job. You know, I like, I like, I like eating bitches out because it keeps the bumps off your face. You do know what I'm saying? You're not lying, bro. It keeps your skin healthy, too. Yeah, you're not lying. Pass that down. Pass <laughs> that down. might have a point. I might have to agree with y'all on that shit, face. yo. Yeah, and I haven't if, had If I was the one getting ate all the time, I'd probably start breaking out. You know what's crazy, bro? Ever since I started eating pussy, I really had no acne on my face. Bro, I've never broken out in my life. Well, I broke out once in my life when I was like 10. So, <laughs> of course, I wouldn't eat no coochie back then. Uh, but I don't know about you, because I'm be honest with you. You probably was. I... No, nah, I wouldn't eat no coochie when I was 10. Uh, so but, still um, curious. I don't, I'm not curious. I'm still spectacle, my nigga. I don't know. I wanted to, I'll but I didn't. Nasty did. man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I remember. Hey, shout out, shout out Akaya, bro. That's my dog. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I remember one day we would sit on the playground, and I was like, Akaya, niggas is eating coochie these days, bro. <laughs> 
bro. This is a 2008, bro. Look at you now. Coochie Soros Rex, nigga. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I got that. Sick fuck. Oh, my mama, I got that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I was I, I wouldn't eat no coochie that young though. I I, I, I I don't know when I started, but I know I wasn't ten. Yeah. But I, just I, I know I ain't never had no bumps on my face though. Probably a little little white hair here and there, but yeah, it's fucking you know sick. I ain't never broke out in that. You know what I'm saying? Because I gets active. Yo, I gets actively active. You know this off bar conversation. But I seen a post on Facebook the other day like this nigga had bumps like all, all over the things right there. Hurt me yeah. shit. I was like, ew, I'm eating like bad pussy. I was just like, ugh. Oh, yeah, he disgusting. must was eating. He was he must was in the club eating coochie. Nah, that nigga had some crackhead pussy. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. too. Hey, remember that one video of that nigga bagging that crackhead? You talking about? And it was like, bro, you know she got AIDS. <gasps> yeah. No. He, yeah. he no for real. He was outside fucking. You seen that video? Yeah, and he was like, you like you fucking dummy. That was like, I hope you got on a condom or whatever. Sitting around or something? No, nah, he was fucking her by himself in the Bronx. In the- nigga, like he was fucking on a park bench or something. Damn. Like. They're like or like on some like a bench in front of a building. That's what it looked like. And they was like, bro, I hope you got a condom on. And then they was like, bro, they're like, nah, he ain't got one on. Then the nigga was like, bro, she got AIDS. But the nigga said, he just he just walked Stupid off. Stupid ass nigga. It's over for you, hey bro. man, wrap that shit up, man. You niggas is out here just fucking everything raw, man. Fucking them crackheads, bro. Wrap that shit. Yeah, niggas, y'all niggas is in the club just licking random club coochie, boy. Yeah. Fucks no. Got fifteen minute break, sweat on their pussy and everything. You still licking it? Fucks oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Fucks to the nail. <laughs> Man, all right, man. This is one of our last questions. You dig what I'm saying? But I'm going to probably expound on the shit a little bit more. Who ate your ass? We need names. That's what they said. We need names. We need names. We need names. I'm going to start off. It was Linda, Felicia. (laughs) (laughs) Hold up. I got the list of names right here. (laughs) Her name's in Delisha. Um, (laughs) Teresa, Monica, Sharon, Nikki. About three Kims. I can't read the list off, but I'm gonna say I you give say you, that there I give you some letters: A J T K C A. Um, B T B T is a salad eater. I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my tongue in the shoe, huh? It's <laughs> <laughs> like a whole tribe noise. The ass whistler. Oh That's my the god! Then he said. Yeah, she's an ass whisperer. Because you're going... Oh, my God. That nigga God. says she is a salad eater, nigga. So, so do y'all like utensils in the salad? No. That's, no. Because, you know, it. bitches have been, like, been on that type shit. Like, ever since we came, me and D-Lo, like, have started this whole getting the ass ate movement. Yeah, pretty much. It, it, it ain't even that. It's just that, like, niggas just start talking about it. So, the pegging thing. Hmm? No, nah, that's dead. That, I understand, but you know what I'm saying? That, that's what they was bringing up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bitches oh. really have a, a problem with bringing up pegging. Like, I really feel like it's an issue within the black community. You dig know what I'm saying? Like, we need to stop this shit. They need to take lead out with them white folks. Exactly. They like that shit. Don't bring this shit over here. Do not bring this shit over here. Yeah, especially with me because I'm little as hell. You ain't finna poke <laughs> my from the back. Fuck I'm about to arch my back for no bitch. You got me <laughs> fucked up. Nah, hell no. Nah. I'm about to spread my ass open. Uh-uh. 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 Yeah, uh-uh. that's it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That shit gave me the itchies, bro. Ugh. one bitch is gonna say, so I can't lick it. But yeah, no, right. Yeah, you're right. You can lick it all day, bitch. Mm-hmm. But no utensils in the salad. Pretty much. That might be the name of this episode. No utensils in the salad. Mm. No, you ain't fucking with it. Nah, mm. iffy. Nah, mm. you know this episode was really more mental health wise. Yeah, it was. So what can we name it? What you want? What, what, what you want? What you think we should name this episode, Tommy? The do's and don'ts of the of the brain. Do's and don'ts of the brain. Of the of the brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, if you smoke a lot of weed, can that fuck with your mental health? It it does. Also, being left-handed, you also have a higher chance of psychosis, ADHD, and other various things. Damn. You can look that up. Um, smoke a weed can also can cause various things if you don't do it in moderations. Um, if you're smoking weed, that's not good. And yeah. and also, if you're doing it. So much that your brain doesn't have a chance to recover because when you smoke weed, it does reduce your brain cells, but also gives brain cells back. But only when you're doing it in moderations to help certain things about your brain. Well, I'm going to put like this. D-Lo, your birthday Mm -hmm. in the days afterwards, brain cells was fraud, bro. (laughs) Because niggas literally never stopped smoking, bro. Yeah, I'm talking about we wasn't just smoking no blunts. I'm talking about woods inside of woods, woods, triple layer woods, woods with two backwoods in them with more weed. Like I'm still recovering, nigga. It's June. Like nigga, bro. Yeah. I think the most I ever smoked was we rolled the whole front so we put four chips in it. Yeah, yeah. You showed me the video. video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you? How the fuck you smoke a whole cheeseburger? Hmm. Mm, yeah, I can imagine that's how you gotta roll it. It ain't, it ain't none of this shit. It ain't none Not of even that motherfucker like this. Roll it up like you that. get something, you just stick it in there, you wipe it across, <laughs> it's wet and stuff, something mm-hmm. sticky. 
a lot of spit. A lot. Ugh. Just, 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 oh, to, God, just, 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 just no, I wasn't talking about the spat. I, I, it's just the taste of the tobacco. Yeah, you know and I'm it's saying? the whole leaf. You have to lick cross whole leaf. Then you got to cut it. And then when you, you got to hold it like this to smoke it. Yeah, you can't, you can't hold it down. All that weed going to fall out. And not going to fake it to you. It ain't no easy way to puff it, but it's. You got to inhale it. It's too big to be. You know, yeah. you got to breathe that shit in. So basically, you got to put your mouth like on this and then. And it's, it's like a cold touch. It's just. And the cherry's probably like this big. Damn. Yeah. Imagine so. dotting that on somebody's neck. Nah. That's your face. You're dotting their face. Right? Dotting their back. <laughs> <laughs> on that motherfucker. Yeah, literally, that's how you holding this. So, I so guess. So, do you guys want to smoke some woods? Um, listen, I would like that. I hey, would man, like listen, that. y'all, it's Papa the Ignorance episode, what, 19? 19. 19. Hey, about six more episodes. I got a story for you niggas. Guess I can't talk about it today. But I got a story for you niggas about six more episodes. On the 25th, I'm going to tell y'all what the fuck has been going on behind the scenes and some more shit. So stay tuned for that shit. But now, nah, man, it's Thank popular ignorance, in, man, for sure, for sure. Facts, man, it's popular ignorance episode nineteen, man. Thank you, Tommy. Clay, we got Mr. Clay. We got Mr. Clay in the building. He will be back, definitely for sure. Facts, for sure. Kevin, he, man. he will be back. This nut ass nigga D Lo here, you know that. Look, you, know, you do what I'm saying? Yeah, and you know me, D Lo eight one six, man. It's popular ignorance episode nineteen. Holla at you niggas next Wednesday. All right, we out. <laughs> I need some agua. This nigga. <laughs> this nigga. This nigga did the D generation X. Here, bro, you're charging back. I want to forget this motherfucker. Oh, please, bro. I'll get my other one to a comedian.